From James Comey being removed as the FBI director by President Trump to the latest on the Real ID law, Congressman Mark Sanford speaks exclusively to me for the special edition of Quentin's Close Ups. Congressman Sanford, it is so good to see you again. Always a pleasure. Likewise. Well, let me begin with the obvious, and this is the headline from ABC Columbia's Twitter right. feed. It says this, South Carolina DMV begins accepting paperwork for real ID today. When you hear that, what sticks out to you? Um, I, I think we still have a problem with regard to real ID, given its ultimate implications in this larger notion of civil liberty. And so it's something I thought when I was governor, we were able to get a, in essence, a stay in terms of its enactment. Um, uh, yeah, they're going to continue to move forward, but I, I, I think it's one of those issues that ultimately leads to a national ID. And I think a national ID is at odds with uh, this notion of federalism. I think that, you, you, you know, states have historically had the sole purview for driver's licenses. It hadn't been a federal driver's license, it's been a state driver's license. And I think it's best with that responsibility states. Mm. Let me turn to Washington. Obviously, the most important report of this. U.S. Representative Mark Sanford says the firing of the FBI Director James Comey would raise eyebrows coming through the investigation of possible collusion between President Donald Trump's campaign and Russian officials. You said this quote, was it based on politics? Was it based on a level of guilt? Wanting to hide something? It simply raises questions. How many more questions do you have right there? Well, I listed three, and I think that there are a lot of others out in people's minds. You know, th there were legitimate questions in regard to Comey and some of the leaks that did take place, and those concerns were warranted. I think what's unusual about this particular circumstance is that the timing of the firing. Right as they were asking for more in the way of Russia money and investigation, he gets fired. And so, you know, the Bible says, you know, avoid even the appearance of evil. I, I think that this is an appearance question. He, what it does is it raises a lot of people's questions of, wait, did he get fired because he was really beginning to lock onto something, find something, discover something with regard to Russian collusion? At, 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 at minimum, does the timing, you know, raise questions? Maybe not about those things happening, but does it have a chilling effect in terms of further investigation by whoever might end up next head of the FBI? In other words, might people say, well, I guess we're not going to go down as far down that angle because we might get fired or I might get fired. What you don't want is a chilling impact or effect an investigation that's taking place of this consequence. The idea that there could be collusion between a presidential candidate and the nominee and the president and a foreign government is something that ultimately we have to get to the bottom of. Congressman Mark Sanford, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate this. My pleasure. Thank Good you. To see you. Likewise. Yes, sir.